first of all, I would like to ask for your permission to put this educational information on internet for other professionals as well as patients to look at it and get some information. Do you give me that permission? It'll be, it'll be granted. Excellent, excellent. Now, tell me, um, how old are you? I will be 70 years tomorrow. Okay, well, happy birthday to uh, tomorrow's birthday. <laughs> yeah. Now, I understand you had been suffering for years from severe back problem, is that correct? Exactly, yes. Uh, tell me, how many years have you been suffering? 15 years? About 10 years. About 10. Okay, About now, 10. I understand that you, um, when you saw me, you had very severe pain. Can you describe me your pain before you and I met and in the time frame that before the surgery? My pain was above 10 on the scale from 0 to 10. It was way up above 10. There's no uh, description of how severe it was. And I understand we looked at that, you had a quite severe back problem, scoliosis, severe disc disease and stenosis and your spine was pretty much crooked. Now, um, tell me about, uh, so I understand you have been in multiple places. It, it was about four or five different places. And even in major universities? At a major university, the head of the clinic himself rejected having me be in one of his patients no, because I was a high-risk patient. Yes, yes. I understand you have some liver transplant and that is makes the risk of the surgery much larger and the, the surgery that you needed was this, what we call a deformity surgery which is a very big surgery considering that you know you have the liver problem and surgery is very very extensive I know that you have been rejected in multiple places and nobody really wanted to take the risk. Now, we did this surgery. We did that surgery just uh, four months ago. Now explain to me the pain that it was uh, in your back, uh, about 10 you say, yeah. how bad is that now? The pain is almost gone. Excellent. And if anything, uh, overexerting myself at this point uh, does create some uh, pain problems. And total of 14 screws all the way from the thoracic region to the lumbar and sacral region. And then you see these two little incision there. That's where we used to um, put the rod that would pass all the way down here. We will look at the, some x-rays as well. Mm -hmm. And practically, uh, uh, this is just about four months ago. Yes. In the next few months, even the incision will fade more, the scarring will progress and they fade more and will be less uh, visible. And furthermore, here is a better picture of it in a 3D fashion that shows all the hardware we put in and this hardware are put in all minimally invasively with those small incisions that we, you and I will look at. All right. And practically this is pretty good outcome for just four months after the surgery but um, yeah. we, in a surgery like this we expect usually bone growth and healing for about a year after the surgery. What it means for you is just be patient with yourself, that's why they call you patient. Re increase the activity very slowly and give yourself just time. This is These are considered very big surgeries. We did uh, these surgeries before we had the minimal invasive procedures and two surgeons usually needed a whole day, literally 8 to 12 hours to do a surgery like that. With this minimal invasive surgery that we did just four months ago in the cities, we needed only two hours and 25 minutes. And there are to this date many surgeons that would not believe you. If you, you would tell them this surgery was done with smaller incision in two and a half hours, they would not believe you because this is a, the triumph of technology that we are able to do that. 
but your body still has to heal. So I have to ask you to be patient with yourself. Give yourself time. And I, I promise you have your whole family here because I see smiles on you. I. I remember it was hard to get a smile out of you before the surgery. It was very tough, doctor. Well, and I must say that for those doctors that hesitate on working with uh, uh, high-risk patients, to don't uh, turn them away. Work with them. And so, but overall, are you happy with the result of the surgery so far? I am very happy. Excellent. Very good. But yeah. we are going the right direction. And that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you, as well as to the people who will see these videos, that you cannot expect to have this kind of surgery and be pain-free just four months after. But it's, it's a process, and we are on that process. And I think I'm uh, very happy with what I see. Thank you very much I for this, you, okay?